two days ago in our video, we talked about being fully dressed in the armor of God, standing as there's no question there's a spiritual battle for our souls. There's spiritual warfare that's happening in the heavenly places. There's all kinds of battles that are happening. And it's never more aware in my life than it is today in the culture and society and the issues that are happening in our nation. And then yesterday, when we were talking to you about eternity and looking at what that looks like and the fact that it exists and we're going to be somewhere for all eternity, heaven or hell, and only through Jesus can we make it to heaven. Well, today I thought it would be great for us to look and just take a snapshot of that end. Beyond all that we know, all that we think we know as we read through end time stuff, to that very moment of truth where the Apostle John was given a revelation of Jesus Christ and he was given a picture from God as he watched things transpire in the very end of all time. And in Revelation chapter 20, I want to read some scriptures to you. It's pretty awesome. Then the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the fiery lake of burning sulfur, joining the beast and the false prophets. There they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. I want you to hear that, church. Understand this. We've grown up in a culture that made like light of the devil and they have them like a picture of horns and a tail and a pitchfork and standing in the fire and like he's the he's the god of hell and the truth of the matter is he's not in hell but he will be and hell is not a place that he will find comfortable it will be his judgment and it is his torment and as we consider that i want you to know ultimate victory is always our god's we have been given that victory over Satan himself through Jesus Christ ourself. For those scriptures in Revelation continue, and the very next statement is this, And I saw a great white throne, and the one sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from his presence, but they found no place to hide. I saw the dead, both great and small, standing before God's throne. And the books were open, including the book of life. And the dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up its dead, and death and the grave gave up their dead, and all were judged according to their deeds. Then death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire. This lake of fire is the second death, and anyone whose name was not found recorded in the book of life was thrown in the lake of fire. Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, spiritual life that we have been called to live, this relationship with Jesus Christ is not a game. It has eternal consequences. This is not about showing up on church on Sunday. This is about a walk with God through Jesus Christ that we will give account for every day. God's word tells us that he is recording yours and my words, our actions. How we live our life matters. And what we do for God through Jesus Christ by following the Holy Spirit is critical. Keep your eyes on Jesus and let's be the church. Thank you so much for checking out today's Be the Church devotional. If you enjoy the ministry of our church, you can help us get messages like these out to your friends and family by sharing them to your social media. You can also help us financially by visiting our website, cfftucson.com slash give. That page will give you steps on how to give via PayPal, how to text to give, or how to give through our app. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the little bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Now, go and be the church.